every company goes through a growth cycle, and I like to compare it to growing up. If you were to think about what it's like to be a toddler or a, a young child in a company's growth cycle, that's comparable to the entrepreneurial stage. In the entrepreneurial stage, you've got lots of energy, lots of drive. It's usually driven by a leader who has a vision that they're willing to sacrifice greatly to achieve. And this is a tremendous time of growth and energy and all kinds of things happening. But oftentimes a company will then move into the next stage that we call the professional stage, which is sort of like adolescence. When you go through adolescence, you probably remember some days you act very grown up and other days you don't act so grown up and you have to struggle with zits and things like that. Well, well, in a corporation, this is the time when we're developing more structure and identity and oftentimes it involves passing on the leadership from the entrepreneur to a group of professionals or a management team and sometimes the organization acts very mature like they have their act together and other times they sort of regress back into childhood or back into the entrepreneurial part where there's a lot of energy and maybe not the right kind of direction. And then the third stage of an organization is the institutional stage. When we move into this stage, I compare it to moving into adulthood. And if you think about what the challenges are in adulthood, you have to start thinking about your weight management and exercising, and you're trying to maintain your vitality because you don't have all that energy that you had when you were a young kid or a teenager. In a company, in the institutional stage, we have to think about innovation and the possibility that what we're doing might become obsolete and we have to reinvent or recreate ourselves. And sometimes we have to cut away the fat or we have to exercise the organization so that it stays vital and healthy. So you have these three stages, the entrepreneurial stage, the professional stage, and the institutional stage. And it's not that one is better than the others. It's just that they each have their own unique energies and opportunities and their own unique challenges as well. Wherever you're at, if you think about what's unique in each of those stages, you'll understand how you can keep growing and remain healthy and vital in the days to come.